Okay, so this tutorial is about us creating a effect where it looks like it's torn down the face. So the first thing that you need to do is make sure that you have saved yourself a portrait, whatever you're going to use, whether it's a photo of yourself, and then got yourself um, a piece of torn paper. You can either do your own and photograph it on a black background or a dark background, or you can just save one of these particular ones. So we're going to open up Pixlr um, and then we're going to open up Pixlr E and I'm going to create a new one. So um, in fact I'll just open my image because I have downloaded it. So I've chosen um, this picture here to do a tear down. The next thing that I need to do then is open up my next image, so my torn image. So I'm going to go to layer and I'm going to go to add image as layer and then I'm going to get my torn piece of paper which is here. So I'm going to move it about so it's over the face. I'm just going to change the opacity so I can see where about so I'm placing it. So I think this is quite a nice placement here. So I go right down the middle of the page like that. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do then is I'm going to get rid of the white side. So I'm just going to go onto this little tool here, which is the magic wand. I'm going to make sure that I'm on the layer that has the torn element and that's highlighted. Then I'm going to click here onto the white and I'm going to select um, the delete button so that my white disappears. The next thing I'm going to do then is I'm just going to get rid of my selection. So select and then deselect or control and D. And then I want to create this kind of black outline so it looks like a tear. So I'm going to do that by using um, an eraser um, and I'm going to increase the size of the eraser. Let's see, it might be a bit too big, but let's have a look. And I'm going to just delete all along until I have a soft edge, so it looks like a torn piece of paper. Um, again, you might need to keep changing the size of your um, eraser tool here, but I'm just gonna do it so that it is like that. Okay, so I might want it a little bit closer. Um, and you know, you can spend a little bit more time doing it than I am so that it is like this. Okay, so I've now got this kind of tear going down the center of my thing. So the next thing I want to do is I want to duplicate this layer here. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to duplicate the layer. So I now have two because what you can do if you want is you can um, have half of it black and white. You can add filters to one half, it's completely up to you. So if you have a look of what I've done here, um, I've actually got half of it at the end, black and white, which you can do. Um, so the first thing that I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna get rid of this half of the face. So the quickest way for me to kind of get this half face is to go back onto my tear I'm going to go to this little lasso tool here and I'm going to go to the magnetic one. The magnetic will stick to the shape. So I'm just going to start off on the top um, and I'm going to draw until I get to this kind of area here. And then I'm literally just going to drag it along. And then what it does is it will just find the edges. So I'm going to have it down to here. And you can kind of click as well your way along it if you want. So I go back to the start. And then that bit here is highlighted. If there's any that you've kind of missed, so I can see here that it's just missed a bit, I'm just going to add to my selection. And again here. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click. I'm going to go, that wasn't what I wanted to do, sorry. I'm going to go back in time. I'm going to right click. I'm going to invert my selection. I'm going to go to one of my faces and then I'm just going to press delete. So now if I was to hide this, you'll see that um, I've only got a half face on this one here. And then I'm just going to go to select and deselect. And then with my half face just here, I'm going to go to adjustments and I'm going to desaturate so that it's black and white. Um, and that is how I create my
torn face. If I zoom in, there are bits, if you have a look, that up I need to sort out. And I should have done that when I had my uh, magnetic lasso. But you'll have a bit more time than me, so you can um, spend a bit more time doing it. But this is the torn face look. <laughs> 